Today we're going to talk about theme. The word theme is actually kind of embedded in its definition. A theme is a lesson or a message that the author wants the reader to take away and think about. And typically those messages don't necessarily tell you what to think, but they provoke you to think about things related to the human condition. What's right, what's wrong, what it means to do the right thing. Um, just things to kind of help grow you as a person. There are three things that themes often deal with. The first is human nature. Human nature means like those things that make us who we are. Um, the good in us, the bad in us, the jealousy, the compassion, the forgiveness, the um, tendency to protect the people we care about. Human nature are those, those traits that we have that can be really good or they can be really bad. And sometimes it's commentary about that. Ethics and integrity. Ethics is a sense of right and wrong. It's sometimes related to law and abiding by the law, but it's also abiding by what is right and what's deemed right. Um, integrity is doing what's right, even when it's difficult and even when you don't necessarily have support and even when no one's watching. Um, a third area where themes tend to happen in a lot of the stuff we read, those, that's social issues. Social issues are things like social justice. A lot of the stuff that we've seen in the news in 2020, um, yeah, those are social issues, whether it's healthcare or racial equity, or I mean, any of the issues, pick one from 2020, it's pretty much going to be a theme. So we're going to identify themes and we're going to write theme statements. A theme statement is an observation about life. It is not an order or a command. So um, they don't sound bossy or even say what people should do or think. They really do just make an observation. So it sounds something like it's hard to beat someone who never gives up versus you're in a tough situation, suck it up. Yeah, those are two very different things. Um, so it should sound more like that first one. It's hard to beat someone who never gives up. In a story, there are some moves that authors make that you can almost always guarantee that there is a theme being built when you see this happen. First, watch for times that someone older or wiser or more experienced gets, gives advice. It may be solicited or unsolicited advice, but it's designed to help a person change, usually in response to a problem that he or she is having. Watch for a time that a character has an internal conflict. Um, he or she may be regretting something, questioning what to do to get himself out of a bad situation, thinking, hey, I don't have a good option here, it all stinks. Um, so internal, care, internal conflict, and sometimes there will be dialogue, and sometimes it's just going to be their thoughts. There's going to be a lot of inferencing involved in that. And watch for repeated behavior, especially mistakes. If somebody fails to learn from their mistakes or they keep making really dumb ones, um, that's going to be a, that's probably going to be a theme. It's going to be a big thing and it's usually going to be about human nature. So now that you have all this background about theme, there actually is a process that you can use to figure out, okay, what's the theme here? Little hint, good stories, whether it's a movie or a book, they t or even short story, they tend to have more than one theme. That's the sign of a good author. I'm only going to ask you to find one at this point, though. So first step in that process is ask yourself, hmm, what's the story about? Now, I don't want a summary. I'm looking for more like a hashtag, um, like one, two, three, four, five words at the most, not a retelling. Stuff like it's about friendship. It's about loyalty. It's about trust. It's about betrayal. It's about family. It's about overcoming obstacles, things like that. So what's the story about? Ah, no, sorry. Okay, so in front of you, you see a list. Um, this is not an all-inclusive list. This list is kind of a starter list. I tried to think up as many different categories of topics that themes emerge from as I possibly could. And you see quite a few of them in front of you. And these relate to things that we read 
mandatory reading in class and a lot of young adult literature. So things like disappointment, family relationships, friend relationships, love and hate, overcoming adversity or fears, growing up. So you think, what is this text about? You generate those, that hashtag list. Anything that applies, you should consider it kind of like brainstorming. Then look at the list you generated about that text. Do those words seem to fall into categories? Do they overlap? Then, which seem to be the biggest cluster, which seem to be the biggest ideas, the clusters of ideas, or if there is just one that stands out? Think of it kind of like a drum. Which one is beating loudest and longest? That's the one you really want to write your theme statement about. So you identify, this is the thing I want to write about. Now, this is the hardest part. What does the author seem to want you to think about that topic? You really have to give that some hard thought. How does it apply to life? Um, how did this person learn or grow? How are they learning or growing? How could somebody in a similar situation walk away from it? Lots of deep thinking goes into that, but that's the most important part of the theme statement. What does the author seem to want me to think about the item? Okay, so let's practice for a minute. Think back to your childhood, Finding Nemo. I'm pretty sure you're familiar enough with this one that you can probably come up with a decent theme statement. I'm actually going to do that for you, but I'm going to help you with it and have you look at the process. So let's remember first. Okay, so what is this about? What topics relate to Finding Nemo? List all that apply. I'm going to ask you to pause here and truly list all the ones that you think apply. So I've highlighted in white the ones I think apply. Um, family and friendship. Obviously, Marlon is going for Nemo. Dory helps Marlon. Um, they have a lot of teamwork to get that to happen. Integrity, he goes even though he's scared, it's the right thing to do. Um, overcoming adversity, he goes even though he's scared, it's the right thing to do. He does it because he loves his son. So I have them highlighted in white so that you can see. These are the ones I picked. You can see there's way more than one. All right, so you can either work with your list or mine. Look at the list you generated about the text. Do the words seem to fall into categories or overlap? Do they seem to work together? Which topics seem to be most applicable, like the biggest topics that emerge in the movie? Okay, so now you have to decide, what does the author seem to want me to think about that item, about that topic, about that idea? I'm gonna ask you to pause here and I want you to tell me, what does the author want you to think? For me, I said that family, friendship, teamwork, overcoming um, adversity and perseverance strength, they all kind of work together. Okay, so as I think about the story, ah, Dory and Marlon worked together and they kept going over and over and over, overcoming adversity, overcoming fears, overcoming obstacles for rescuing Nemo. And so they all did work together and that's kind of a summary, but I mean, that's that's why, that's the, the why of it. That's kind of boils down to the heart of the conflict. So I've listed all of the things that I applied, that I thought applied and then I kind of categorized them. What does the author seem to want me to think? Okay, so I have an example here for you. The author wants me to think that sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help people you love. You can't use this one. The author wants me to think that sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help people you love. Marlon did that. He did that for Nemo. It was difficult the whole time. It's kind of true. Okay, so there is a formula for writing a theme statement. This works just like algebra. If you don't like algebra, I'm sorry. This is easy algebra. Title, author, verb that is a synonym for set or shows, statement or observation about life. So you just plug in the variables. Um, title, Finding Nemo. That's easy. Author, uh, it's okay. It's okay if you don't know it. In a movie, you can put the producer or you can put the company like Disney or Pixar or Marvel. You don't have to. You can leave that blank if you absolutely don't know. It's okay. If it's a song, you can put the name of the artist. Um, so 
title, finding an email, author, eh. Verb that is a synonym for set or shows. I don't have that yet, so I'm going to wait. Statement or observation about life. That thing we just did. The author wants me to think that sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love. Okay, so I have most of that. I still need a verb. Disney's Finding Nemo verb. That sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love. I'm going to ask you to pick from that list what verb fits best. Okay. So we have a really good theme statement. Disney's Finding Nemo illustrates, that's the one I picked, that sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love. Now we have to check our work. This, again, is a process. There are a few things that you can just ask. I have them numbered. They're at the bottom of the screen. And let's go through them. So our theme statement, Disney's Finding Nemo illustrates that sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love. First, does the theme statement sound like a command or sound bossy? It shouldn't. You tell me, does it? Nope, it doesn't. It's just an observation. It's not saying, hey, go help people. It's not doing that. Second question, does the theme statement refer to a specific thing about the story? Like, does it say a character's name? Does it say about them writing with the turtles? Does it say anything like that? It should not. You tell me. Does it get really specific? No, but I'm gonna give you a bad example so you can see what usually happens because this is one of the most common mistakes people make when they're writing theme statements. My bad one, in red, because, whoa, red, pay attention, bad. Disney's Finding Nemo showed that without Dory's help, Marlin might never have reunited with Nemo. Mm. This lives way too much inside the story, okay? It, it, it's not an observation, it's just a summary. It's not something that could apply to something else. It's talking about very specific things related to these characters and theme statements don't do that. So let's take this nasty thing off the screen and get back to the right stuff. Um, Disney's Finding Nemo illustrates that sometimes it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love. Does that theme statement apply to something else in literature or in life? Because it should. That's what a good theme statement always does. So I want you to right now pause and think, hmm, is there another Disney movie that it's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love shows up in? Tell me as many as you can think of, because I can think of at least three as I'm sitting here talking. Okay, so that hint down at the bottom Pretty much any time you're trying to check your work, ask, is there a Disney or Marvel or some animated movie where this shows up? Yeah, kids' movies aren't going to cover everything, but I'm going to tell you, most themes, you can do this check and it's going to work. So, does it fit another one? That whole Dory and Nemo, Dory Nemo Marlin thing, that wouldn't work for Cars, that wouldn't work for Mulan, but guess what? It's worth it to do difficult or challenging things to help the people you love. That's totally Mulan. That's Frozen. That's a lot of others. I wonder what you put. I can't wait to see. So your next task is to go read your independent reading material and start thinking about what themes it has. If you don't have a book yet, you need to get one. Email me if you need help and then spend some time reading today.